Hey everyone, so I just came down here in the garden to get some sun gold tomatoes. I have that brandy wine I'm still trying to finish and it's in the refrigerator, but I thought I'd have a nice room temperature sun gold tomato in my salad instead of a refrigerated tomato, which not supposed to refrigerate tomatoes, I guess. But these look nice. These are very sweet. Hmm. And when they're warm from the sun, they even taste better, I think. It's so dry here. We haven't had any water for a while. Here's some jalapeno peppers. I need to make those stuffed jalapeno peppers I made last year from a recipe I saw on someone's YouTube channel. They just stuffed them with cream cheese and baked them. They were so good. There's some more brandy wine tomatoes ripening. I actually had to support this cluster here. I thought it was going to break the branch here. I hope the pressure points here don't turn mushy. And I have a couple of Amarillo watermelons. This one here. Have them on these little hammocks like I did last year. Look at this one. This one's a good size. And I don't think the tendrils are drying up yet, so this still has some, some time to go. It's huge. some weight on it. There's a small one here. Some more jalapeno peppers. These are a good size. Surprisingly, tomatillos grow like weeds even here in New England. The seeds get spread around. I have them all around the yard. Some of the sizes here. I do have some conquered grapes that all the birds are enjoying. Kind of a little bit sour. They have the seeds in them. So they're best probably for making grape jelly. I'm surprised the raccoons I haven't found them yet. They have the smell of the grapes here. All the skins that are being dropped at the bottom there, fermenting. It really draws them in. And I just cut these too when they're all... Can't, can't believe how quickly grape vines grow. I think they could grow a foot a day. I think that I read that. And the Reliance grapes hidden in here somewhere. Winemaking grape. Right in there. But the sun isn't getting to them. A little bit smaller. The size of a blueberry. Well, oh, those are really sour. I do have a green variety here that I lost track of and it's actually grown through the pot. I have to figure out a way to cut through this pot and maybe end up putting this in a raised bed. But I have these nice green clusters here. And they seem to uh, not attract the birds and I haven't found them yet. I don't think they're ripe, pretty small. Those aren't as sour. Those are actually approaching nice grape. Too bad they're not a little bit bigger. It's probably due to the fact that they're in this in this pot here. But again, it's it's welded to the earth. It grew right through the pot. I have to figure out a way to, to cut that away. Maybe melt it. So that's a good amount for now. 
Hopefully I won't finish these off before I get in the house. So this is New England gardening. The sun gold tomatoes for a salad. And I'll let those Amarillo watermelons go a little bit longer. See if I can get a little bit closer look at the tendrils there. Thanks for watching.